Now this is what our MMI Prime and Pro have been waiting for. Welcome back, I'm Dylan with Beamer Tech. By now you've heard tons about our wireless CarPlay and Android Auto MMI Prime and Pro. They are the best way to integrate Apple CarPlay and Android Auto right on your iDrive screen, integrate front and rear cameras, experience seamless screen mirroring, video playback via USB and HDMI, and so much more. Now for all the nitty gritty details on both of these devices, granted on the old software, for now, you can check out tons of videos that we have on this, links in the description of this video, or the written articles we have on our website. Website. But for now, this video is going to be all about the new software update that just came out for the Prime and the Pro. Now keep in mind, we're always working on new software updates, and as soon as they come out, they will be available to you always for free. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is get your software version number and your hardware or HW version number. So first thing we're going to do is on our main MMI screen here, scroll over to settings, and then go down to system and then finally, software version. And now you're gonna to wanna to take a picture of this screen or write down the two numbers, the system version and hardware version, as you're gonna need them for the next step. So for that next step, let's go over to the computer. Now to get your update. Updates are free for all customers who have purchased an MMI Prime or Pro from us. All right, so first head on over to this link, which you can find in the description of this video or on our website. And then you're gonna enter your software version. It's gonna be right here. And then you're going to enter your hardware version right here. Now, once you hit check, you'll see that there is an update available here. So you just click right here. And then you'll be directed here, which are going to be the files that you need to download. You're going to see two bin files right here. You're going to see the installation instructions and a recovery HD pound file, which this is going to be for MMI Pro users. We'll talk about that in a bit. So download each of these to your computer. So you can see this is going to be in our downloads right here. I'm just going to click on save. It's going to be a compressed folder. Let's actually go over here to that compressed folder and just open it up for later so that we'll be ready. We'll be right click on this and we're going to go extract all. And it's going to be extracted right here. Let's make sure this is going to be in our downloads. Oh, it's not. So yeah, let's make sure we're going to be in our downloads. Select folder and extract. It's going to do its thing. And cool, we got all our files right here. Now you're going to need to insert a flash drive into your computer that you're okay with formatting, which means you will erase everything on it. So let's show you how to do that. All right, so once you plug in your flash drive, you will see it right here. Ours is called Test Music, that's what we're using it for. So we're gonna right click on that and we're going to choose Format. And make sure you choose FAT32, which is gonna be your default here. You can name it whatever you want. Let's say uh, MMI update. And you're gonna hit start, confirm. Again, this will erase everything on it, so make sure there's nothing in it. Hit okay. And there you go, format is complete. Now on a Mac, open Disk Utilities. Select the flash drive. And click erase. Name it whatever you'd like. Format the drive to MS-DOSFAT. And for the scheme, make sure you choose Master Boot Record. And click Erase. And hit Done. Now it's time to transfer the system update and MCU update to the flash drive, so let's get to that. All right, so simply drag the system update file. This is gonna be the ispbot.bin over to our flash drive, just like that, let it copy over. And then we're gonna drag over the MCU update file, which is gonna be the upgrade underscore MMI underscore two dot bin. Just drag that over here, let it do its thing. Now this recovery HD pound file, this is gonna be for MMI Pro users. We're not gonna drag that over just yet. We will get to that later. Once it's on the flash drive, you could remove the flash drive and head on over to your vehicle. And then you're gonna plug it in to the USB port on the MMI, not the actual one on the BMW. Now 
Now, once you have your flash drive in your MMI's USB port, go to the main screen on your MMI. If you're in your CarPlay or Android Auto, just double tap the back button and it'll get you to that screen. So on the main menu here, we'll go over to settings and go down to system, software update, and we're gonna do the system update first. We'll do the MCU update in the next step. System update, confirm update, yes. Now it's gonna go back to the main iDrive screen. In about 10 seconds or so, you're gonna see a progress bar pop up. And once that's done, your MMI will reboot. So let's see. All right, perfect, we've got the progress bar. All right, update complete, rebooting. And then here we are with the new screen. Now, if during this update, you see where it gets stuck on the screen that says update complete rebooting, if it lasts longer than about 10 seconds, don't worry, you could just restart your MMI manually by holding down the back button for a few seconds until it reboots. And now for the MCU update. So we're gonna go over to settings. Oh, that is much faster already. We're gonna go down to system, software update, MCU update, now, once you confirm, this update is gonna be much faster, but you are going to need to manually reboot your MMI by holding the back button, but let's do the update first. You can hit confirm, updating, please wait. All right, screen's gonna go black for a little bit. So you saw the iDrive screen came back up, so we're going to manually reboot our MMI by holding down the back button. All right, you can see MMI Pro came back up. So there you have it, the software update and MCU update have been completed, but if you have an MMI Pro like we do, we have one more step for you MMI Pro users, and that is going to be the recovery HD pound file, which let's show you how to do that right now. So this last step is for those of you who have an MMI Pro. If you have an MMI Prime, you could skip this step. You don't need to worry about it. All right, so the last thing you'll need to do for an MMI Pro is copy the recovery HD pound file over to your flash drive, just like you did the other one. So I'm gonna make it easier and just delete these from the flash drive. So that way there's no confusion with the MMI. We're not gonna need them anymore. Take the recovery HD pound file, drag that over like so, and done. Now this will update the HDMI settings in the interface to be compatible with the new update. This last one is super easy. Just make sure you're on your MMI screen, not your iDrive screen. And once you plug in your flash drive, the update is gonna automatically happen. So let's do that right here. So you're gonna see success and then your MMI is gonna restart. Now there are some chances when your MMI is not gonna show success and just restart, but if it restarts, the update has been happening. And now it's time to experience the new MMI update. The first thing you'll notice is the new interface. It's cleaner, sleeker, and because of that, it's faster and more responsive. You can also choose between five different wallpaper options. Devices connect much faster to the MMI than they ever have before, partly due to the default Wi-Fi channel being changed to 149 and it's now operating on 5 GHz. We have fixed some connection issues with iOS 17 and screen mirroring connection issues for Apple AirPlay. The default option to lock scrolling on the menus in the MMI is set to on so you won't jump to the top of the screen at the end of a menu. Function selection for the scroll button on the steering wheel has been added. You can also allow the steering wheel scroll button to change the song you're listening to. We've also changed up how the iDrive controller buttons work, allowing you faster CarPlay and Android Auto quick navigation. Media will open up whatever application is playing audio. Nav will bring up your default navigation application. And Tell will open your calling application. And that is how you upgrade the BeamerTech Wireless CarPlay and Android Auto MMI Prime and Pro to software version 3.2.0. It's a simple process that will make your experience so much better. But if you have any questions during the update process, you can always give our support team a call and they'll be happy to assist. For more tips and tricks, product reviews, and so much more for BMWs, Minis, and Supras, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. And hey, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok as well. Thanks for watching.